Reverend once told me, when things are too dangerous to say, sing. The thing about the movie is, is like it, it, it flashes back into different time periods. There's so much great music in it that from artists that we know that obviously are here right now that possess the spirit of the time. You have Gary Clark Jr., you have Yola, you have Shanka, you have, you know, Doja Cat's done covers with Shanka of Hound Dogs. We get to hear the evolution of music over time. And in a way, it's, you know, we can learn about music history. And, we, and I think in this movie, we get to experience it. I'm thinking about cutting it up with Hound Dog. There are a lot of young artists who want to be creatives and are creatives, but it's important that we re-educate them on where this has all came from. The pioneers and the people that were fearless enough during the times of 1940s, 50s, 60s to be liberated and to be loud in their art and their way of expression. It's the new foundation. important that people see that that's what it was, but more importantly that we get to talk about it now. It all comes from this common root and we have to just be grateful for that and honour its roots. And I think that's what this movie does. It puts Elvis in context. The fact that we don't have Elvis without black music and black culture and his style and you know the clothes that he wore. You, when you're a child you don't have, you haven't been tainted by you know, ideas of segregation or anything at that point. So he just was immersed in the love of being around his best friend Sam Bell at the time, who Baz actually got to talk to. And that scene in the in the gospel tent, that was that actually Sam told Baz that story. So him him going in there and feeling the rapture of gospel and so many bits of his story that I'm so proud that we're finally getting to put that in context and give credit where credit is due. I wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Ready to fly. This is a film made for the theater. This is a film made to be seen on the big screen, the way that he shot it, the way the music is mixed. It, it is really such an immersive experience. I felt like I was strapping on a seatbelt and going on a roller coaster, and it just takes you on this ride. And this film is such an immersion of all of the senses. It's entree, main, and dessert. Baz's films are a feast for the eyes. You're meant to laugh and cry and clap and applaud and really, you know, feel Elvis again. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Elvis Presley.